Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Smitha. In today's video, I'm going to let you guys know exactly how you guys can apply for machine learning internships and also successfully land them. But if you're someone who is not looking for internship roles, if you're looking for something more full-time, I've actually made a video on how you guys can land machine learning engineering roles at startups. So definitely check that out right over here. With that being said, let's get into the video. Landing a machine learning internship is one of the best ways that you guys can start off your machine learning career. Instead of waiting till you graduate to actually apply for a full-time role as a machine learning engineer without any internships, but if you actually had a machine learning engineering internship, the chances of you landing that full-time machine learning engineer role once you graduate is significantly higher. In fact, your resume is going to be much more competitive than someone who doesn't have any internships, especially within machine learning. Machine learning internships are actually relatively new as well. If you just went back like five years or like even three years back, the amount of machine learning internship positions in the field would be extremely little. In fact, most of the machine learning roles that you would see at that time would actually be full-time roles which required significant amount of experience to even apply to. So the fact that we're seeing machine learning internship positions opening up and also at such scale, because there's such a huge amount of them opening up, I think it's an extremely good opportunity for you guys, which you should definitely take. So the next three and a half months or so is going to be extremely crucial if you are planning on landing a machine learning internship this year, because a lot of huge tech companies, especially FANG companies, are going to be looking at applications uh, within the next three months for internships which start summer of this year. So if you guys are interested in applying for internships, I definitely suggest you guys pay attention to the steps that I'm going to list out in this video. So before I tell you guys how your resume should look like and how you can showcase the things you have actually learned, I think I have to give you the biggest advice of them all. And that is when it comes to internships, you should be applying to as many as possible. Now this advice is the exact opposite of what you should be doing if you're applying for full-time positions. But when it comes to internships, you should be applying to as many of them all. And I will repeat that. Now, why do I say this? Because applying to internships is an extremely competitive process. And your goal when it comes to internships is to gain experience and not just to gain an internship at the top fan companies. Although getting one, getting an internship at a place like Google is amazing, your goal here is experience. So always make sure that you're applying to not just the top fan companies, but also startups and also less well-known companies as well. Now, I'm going to list four things that you guys should include in your resume when you're applying for machine learning internship roles. Now, the first two things are really basic things that you should definitely have if you're even thinking of applying. And the last two things are uh, things which if you don't have, it's fine. But if you do, it's going to take your portfolio and resume to the next level. And it's going to make you really stand out. So the first most important thing that you should definitely have in your resume is you need to show that you have a solid understanding of basic machine learning frameworks and algorithms. Now there's two ways to actually go about doing this. The first way is to show a certificate that shows that you've actually completed a course on machine learning. Now it could be one from Udacity or Coursera or any of these platforms, but be sure to include it on your LinkedIn as well as your resume. Now the second way to go about doing this is to actually show projects that you have done on your GitHub. So these projects should be very much related to machine learning fundamentals. So they should be uh, projects which are related to time series forecasting, image detection, object recognition, anything to do with computer vision, and also natural language processing. I say time series forecasting, computer vision, and natural language processing because these are some of the most basic uh, basic areas in AI and machine learning. So if you take any sort of machine learning course, you're probably going to cover these fields as well. So it's good to have projects within these three scopes. Now, the second thing which you definitely need to have is you need to showcase experience in one or more deep learning framework, such as TensorFlow, Keras, and PyTorch. So how can you go about doing this? It's very similar to the first step, 
you can go about uh, doing this wherein you can show a, a course certificate which you have done so for example if you have done a course on tensorflow or keras or pytorch be sure to include that on your linkedin and your resume as well now the second way is also to do uh, projects on this so if you have done projects on your github and you have made use of tensorflow framework or you have made use of keras framework or pytorch framework definitely be sure to include that in your resume so now that i've actually told you guys the two things that you definitely need to have before you even think of applying for these machine learning internship roles let's talk about the two things that you should have to really stand out so the first thing is to show a history of contribution to open source projects on GitHub or SourceForge. So if you can show that you know you have actually uh, contributed to open source machine learning projects, that will take your entire uh, resume and application to a next level. So the last and final thing which will really make your resume stand out is if you can show that you have competed in machine learning competitions on websites like Kaggle, Data Driven, or Code Lab. Now, if you can show that, that would be great because it's going to make you really stand out from all the other people who are applying for the same internship positions. And you're going to really stand out to the hiring managers as well. I want to show you guys a few different uh, machine learning internship job postings on LinkedIn so that you guys get a better understanding of what to expect when you are applying. So the first one we're going to look at is a machine learning intern position at Adobe in Romania. So as you guys can see, it was posted three weeks ago and already there are 517 applicants. I feel like that is the exact reason why I said that, you know, it is extremely competitive and that is exactly why you guys should apply to as many internships as you can. So if we look at what they're looking for, or they're looking for someone with experience with machine learning in at least an academic environment. So definitely having a certificate which says that you have done some sort of course and also if you are taking a computer science uh, degree, if you have taken any course related to machine learning within your curriculum, definitely have that on your resume. And secondly, they're looking for experience with machine learning frameworks like PyTorch or TensorFlow. So that's exactly why I mentioned that uh, you, you guys should list if you have made use of these uh, frameworks or libraries within any of your projects. Definitely have that on GitHub and also your resume. Lastly, let's look at this machine learning internship for summer 2021 uh, by Path AI. If you guys don't know, Path AI is actually a company which makes use of machine learning and uh, deep learning to diagnose uh, cancer and other diseases. So let's see some of the requirements for this role. To be successful in this role, you will need intellectual curiosity, a bachelor's or master's degree in computer science. So as I was saying, there, there are a lot of machine learning internships which are open to people with who are currently pursuing bachelor degrees, which was not the case in the past, but now you can see a lot more opportunities for people who are studying bachelor's degrees as well. At least one year plus of rel relevant work experience. I will say that this is usually flexible. So if you can demonstrate that you have done a lot of courses or a lot of projects on the side related to machine learning, this, you usually would not need to have this sort of experience. So guys, let's have a recap. So in order to be successful at applying for machine learning internships, that's two really basic things that you need to have on your resume. The first thing is you need to demonstrate a basic understanding of machine learning frameworks and algorithms. And the second thing is to include any experience that you have with deep learning frameworks like TensorFlow, Keras, or PyTorch. Now, if you really want to take your resume and application to the next level, you should also demonstrate a history of uh, contributing to open source projects within machine learning and also if you have competed in any machine learning competitions. If you need help constructing your resume and if you're still unsure of what will really make you stand out, 
uh, be sure to reach out to me on LinkedIn and I'll try to get back to you. I'm actually thinking if I should organize a virtual session uh, with a bunch of you guys where I maybe address some of the concerns that you guys might have when it comes to applying for machine learning internships. So let me know in the comment section below if you would be interested in joining a virtual session like that. So guys, I hope all the information that I've given in this video was helpful and let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.